Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. Okay. You got a friend over? Episode 2. Um, we're just getting back. I must confess, I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam, and there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her... I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters and some very slow ones. Okay, thank you, Atlas. So we're getting back from the Bathysphere sh repair hub. Okay. I think that's the gas arrow that it's displaying here. Crossbow gas ammo full. Because, yeah, because I picked a few of those up already. So I'm just going to search them and then use the cro the gas on the next enemies. There we go. No excuse for a racket. Come out and show yourself. Why do I need to hold to pick it up? Doofer! There we go, trophy. You're not getting out of this deal that easy! Maybe I should just go for... We're not finished! No, we're not! Are you serious? That's, that's more like it. That was ridiculous. The plant stopped my crossbow arrow. Right, so that guy's still dead, we know that. And th does he have my crossbow dart? Yeah, he does. And then loot everybody here. Get my Eve back. Seems like that's it. So let's get back to the Silverfin restaurant. Slowly. Without getting spotted. Preferably. So I think it's on at the other side of this area again, so I need to loop around a bit. Just gonna hold it. You know you don't belong here. Where does one find the parasite? Nesting in dark. There we go. Two thirds of my Eve gone, but that was worth it, I feel. So let's cycle the airlock again and get in here. There shouldn't be any enemies here, I think. So, um, bad juju. Let's insert the CO2 scrubber. Yeah, we'll immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Then the cathode tube. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but. It'll and do. I'm actually wondering, is there a way of getting Eve here then? Because if I can fill that up completely before activating Winter... I was going to say Winter Blast, but of course Old Man Winter. I think that's one, right? Yeah, I must have popped out of the Numo here. And going down again, and now we can freeze the top part of the machine right here. And... I need to actually use old man winter ah. on the There we go. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. And now? Everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. Okay. Pull the lever. There we go. What did I tell you? Okay. Enter the tear. Okay, fair enough. Uh, jump. That got me the up and running trophy. Oh, that is that is fitting. Where we spawned, right next to her dress, Look. dress worn by our first Look. lady. You're on the first lady. Why is there a button here? Because we could go through the door, but why is there a button here? Let's push the button. It can't be this easy. The first lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system, just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. 
Okay, then. Perfect. This seems like a little like bit too easy. Technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. So yeah. We kind of destroyed one of these in the Embiasho Infinite. If I take Infinite. the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40 ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Okay. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Seriously, this is this is this is the only thing we need to do. Just go into the airship, take the particle and go down again. That I seems too easy. Atlas. He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Fair point. Um, I can't open the. Nothing I... but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. Why is that an option even then? Oh fuck it. Okay then. Never mind. Who's there? Pretty lady, not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. Such a wonder something as simple. Lock of hair. You're not serious. Not in your hair, stupid! Think Hodge's secret lab. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then everybody friends. Then everybody Where's friends. His lab? Closed off past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find it. Yeah, seen there that we go. Coming. Yeah, indeed. Should have seen that coming. Let's go out there. So we know this. It looks like it's already been used by the Fox Populi. Fox Populi. We must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. Ah, oh, yeah, indeed. We didn't. Um, pick up iron sides. That's a new one. Rent to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gun. Okay, so that makes me temporarily invulnerable then for gunfire, I suppose. It's gonna be specifically for gunfire. Um, anything here? That we must have picked up, because we didn't find that when we go back here. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're at Fink's Tower then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know where we are. Factory Dock. So that means this place is still filled with guards, though. Um, open up the door. No? How the hell? Is there a vent here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. There we go. A dropping down. I've taken your counsel, and you done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and come What the fuck? Burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the what? girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. Are you serious? So the Latessas were behind Daisy Fitzroy's attack on that boy at the end of the battle when we're about, about right after she killed Fink. She held that boy at gunpoint and then Elizabeth made a choice to kill Daisy to protect that boy. And that's, that's all part of the Latessas plan. So Elizabeth would grow up. That is ridiculous. 
That's a revelation, Jesus. Um, yeah, we came from over here. And then over there, so... That is... Wow! Actually incredible. So let's keep going. Because uh, this is a rather long vent. I kept standing over there, but apparently they didn't want, to mi want you to miss this uh, scene. Um, okay. That's... Wow, I'm kind of shocked about that. That's something I didn't see coming. Okay, so now we have Vox Populi are running around. Oh, gold. I think I can just whack her on the head. Nice ass, by the way. Give the lady a compliment before we uh, move any further. There's two already. Just making my way around because I feel like there's gonna be a few things here. Just gonna go back to peeping Tom. There's one over there. Because of course we know this area. We fought against the the handyman over here, and against the Vox Populi, of course. I'm gonna guess we need to just head out through the front gate where we entered this arena originally. Where? There's not a lot of enemies in here. Um... As written in the people's voice. Such is the fate of all horrors. So I think they just killed the people I tried to save there, but that's Okay, I'm just gonna leave her there. No no. No, no. That kind of explains why there were bodies when we started uh, this fight, because they weren't when we came in here. Oh god. Just gonna, just gonna slowly move over there, move over there, and just whack her in the head. They do have nice buttocks. Who's out there? Well, you're gonna be on the floor in a second. Boop. Don't even need to be invisible for that. I can't open up the safe. That is interesting. We got a lockpick here. And a voxophone from Daisy Fitzroy. Yeah, there's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear, hatred, people dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence, I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but... What common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay the hand? Will I be able to stay the hand? Is she talking about that child? I think she is. Private quarters of Jeremiah Fink. We couldn't access this in the uh, original game, so Bioshock Infinite. So this might turn up something interesting. So there is, of course, the giant clock again on the floor. What? What's this? Why is it the drawing thingy? Okay. So looks like this needs to be something in there, so we can turn this. Think. Okay. Holy a shit. giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives us blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... There's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Okay, so there we go. There, there, sure there can be like something a lot of work there. to lock down a few doors. Yeah, you know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. That's right. But I don't think there would be enemies in here, right? Why would there be? Wait, I saw something. 
Money, silver eagles and uh, coins are apparently the same thing. And cannon ammo is full, because we have a lot of ammo. And then we have Voctophone from Le Pass. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong. And it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia. Return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. So that's Rosalind Latest talking about how she they could return to uh, Columbia after they were shattered amongst the timelines. We've got the clock key. There we go. Seems like an easy thing to do, right? Maybe somebody wandered into the room. That might be possible. I don't doesn't look like it. So let's put this thing in there. And then let's go into the next one. Prayer. So it looks like the first area we entered in Bioshock Infinite. So the church. Health plus Eve minus. Not gonna take that. A lot of absent. Thought it was aspirin at the first sight. This looks like somebody was a very, very heavy drinker. There's nobody here though. So that's. Oh, there's nothing here. Able Prophet, Untold Prophet, Untold Prophet, oh yeah, so that's Fink's uh, thoughts about everything. Untold Rewards Await the Faithful in Eternity, and then La Lackery, you old shyster, sure to impress the rubes? You give the sales pitch, I'll provide the snake oil. Okay, or anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. We think there might be at least a foxophone or something. I can't see anything. The clock is going off. Hello? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's go back up. And take the next room. Open up the next room. What's th that's that's a weirdly unlit wall. Well lit wall, while everything else is unlit. Let's turn it again. Seems like we get a, a little view into Fink's life here. It's not going to be much enemies, of course. Um, kinetoscope seized from the graveyard shift bar. So the bar where we went downstairs in the basement and start playing, started playing guitar. Let's listen to that. As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you. Comstock or anyone else for that matter. For the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. And a few lovely paintings. A bit of a, uh, yeah, propaganda from Daisy Fitzroy. Cost evaluation. Why injectables? Drinkable plasmids require 10 times the atom that injectables do. Injectables are the clear economic choice. Repackaging will result in significant atom usage savings. So that's why injectables were the more economic choice that is interesting so clearly the drinkable versions were the the popular choice this sea is an economic slugs. choice god damn sea slugs could that oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids if there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. 
The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. Okay, so he is going out and getting more Adam from the ocean floor. There we go. Work. Good. Elevated to laboratories. That idiot has lock of hair. That idiot, Elizabeth. Your tongue. Okay, let's go down and see what else is in his laboratory. Because we know about a few of his experiments, so of course the vigors slash plasmids were part of it. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my issue. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a oh, hero shit. to the cause. A story to tell your children. You. Hi. I'm supposing that if you turn around at that Are point, I don't think you can even turn around at that point. I miss you. You were the only one who ever... You were my only friend. Booker. And you killed him. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Why well, I think that's actually really true. But yeah, if you miss him, why did you kill that version of Booker? Still doesn't make much sense that way, because that Booker was never going to turn up as Comstock. So killing him wouldn't mean anything. You would have needed to kill another version of him. Jesus Christ, there's all of them. Um... Going left, since it's the first place I think I can go safely into. Probably gonna be a few here or not. I could of course possess the third. Because there is a third over there. But I do need to be able to hit it from here. Who's that then? No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I'll hunt you down. Okay, she's almost here, which means I can just whack her in the face if she comes up. Jeez, that looks horrible. Here I come. Here you come. There. No, she's still just looking over there. So if I oh, well. So there we go, the third starts killing everybody. Because I think I have that now indefinitely because of the the power up possession. Doesn't sound like it's killing much else though. You're not a lion, you're a pig! Just taking care of her. Can I hit him from over here? I can actually. I thought there were four. So that means I think there's one more. Or not. Seems like I pretty much threw everything. Okay. Let's just walk through the glass casually then. So, after a bit of rummaging around, we can continue along our path. There's a few vents, a fence up there. How do I get to that? Is there a way I can enter the vent? Because there's an opening over there, which loops around. It goes over here into the wall like that. So it must be from a higher, uh, an upper area then. We're going up here, so if I go to the left, I should be able to access the... Um, well, the vent up there. Um, let's see. Okay, then. Jesus, it's right in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. Okay. That's one down. 
Seems like we're getting into the lab proper. Still don't know why there are that many Vox Populi around here. Because I don't think Fink is dead already. But it might have taken over most of the facility though. Let's take the Eve and listen to another Fink Foxophone. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. They're down in what I call my chamber of panic, near the base of my statue. I've set the code to 8371. 8371, we're gonna have to remember that. So, these look like Vigor, well, kind of, um, tests? Dead Ringer, reanimate dead loved ones and pets. Marketing note, no one wants a moldy puppy. Okay. Amnesia, forget everything you know. How do you plan to sell this dud? And then plant people, read the inner thoughts of your house plant. No demand for this type of product. Okay, sounds fair enough. Um, doesn't seem like... Okay, there's one over here. There we go. I'm always quiet when I... I don't know why, but I just, I just instinctively go quiet. Because I don't want to tip anybody off. So I think that's pretty much everybody up here. Which means we're going down. There's one on the other side over there. Man, there's a lot of areas in here. Handyman operating wing. Because I'm gonna get to all these areas, but... When this goes down... I do want to take out most of the enemies before we go any further. So sneaking up on this guy is part of the solution, I think. There we go. Now we have a woman down there. And this. What? You gonna answer for this girl? Don't think you can hide from me. Okay, that's another one. And they're all gonna come up here. It looks like there's a helmet dude as well. How the hell am I gonna Get kill that one? Here. Oh yeah, right, fuck. Way to range, for the win. I think he blew up. He just blew up. Daisy sacrificed herself. Set me up to kill her. To, to turn me in... To turn me into what? A killer. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. I'm no martyr. How did you do it, Booker? How did you... Elizabeth. I'm not Booker. And neither am I. Okay. So yeah, Elizabeth just realized what the, that previous scene was all about. Drink some more coffee. Just gonna try and find as much as I can here. Because we still need to find that door that the audio diary, the voxophone, was talking about. Um, there's another... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I was under the assumption that everybody was gone, but clearly not. What the hell is this? It's another one of those side areas. Doesn't seem to be anybody here, though. Is there anything here? So that's the siphon, I think. Looks like it. So Fink was responsible for all of that. Kind of already knew that. Another cage with a bird in it. Fitting imagery all around. What else is there? Um, oh, is that the door? What was it? 8731? Oh, yeah, 8... 7... 
three, one. No. Let's check it. Oh, eight, three, seven, one. Almost there. Eight, three, seven, and one. There we go. So what secrets lie here? Another, uh... Observation room. Iron Sight's Salt Smold adds ability to recover some Eve based on absorbed damage. Haven't needed, haven't been in need of Iron Sight's just yet. There's a shotgun here. Looks like it's a sort of bunker for when uh, something bad must have happened. It's weird that, that you can't find uh, a thing in here. Because this would have been the perfect area to uh, stay in, to hide from everything. Okay, so that's that. Tyrant. Of course. Storms! Oh god. Yeah, I kind of forgot that even if you're invisible, she don't she, they don't die when you hit them. You need to be in stealth for them to die when you hit them. Hair sample in a haystack. So, Adam slugs. Jeez, so I need to be careful around these areas as well, because I might just be fucked in the face. Although, if I just walk around with a shotgun, that should be fine. Okay, so there's another area over there, which I seem to be able to access using a vent. So there's one vent. There's a hook. Ah, the other vent is up there. Um, so let's go back up. It feels like we missed a few rooms up here as well. Going down? Wait, we, we just... This is the same room, right? Yeah, I don't care. Up the butt! The hell was that? Oh! I know it's locked. That was like, oh, I know, no, I don't. I really don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, is there something up here then? Quarantine zone. That sounds like fun. But there's a few more areas I haven't checked yet. Although, although, I, I do want to end this episode. Does this start a, a saving point? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, with that, I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to keep exploring all of these areas. So, we need to go to Handyman, Surgical Suite. We need to go to Quarantine. And we're going to probably find a few more uh, revelations about Bioshock Infinite. So, thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.